We're here with Jason Seabacher today to discuss his new play, All Aboard the Hindenburg. In one act, it's about 90 minutes long, uh, in the stage read format, probably a little longer if it was fully acted. It takes place aboard the Hindenburg, and um, there is uh, one couple, they're very old, this old Victorian British couple, and they're really not in love anymore. And they meet a younger couple, an American couple, and the husband, Robert, becomes enamored with them, and they, with him, and it's, I think, a love story. Then, his love for his wife is sort of laid bare, and it is a love story, as I said, um, but an unusual one, uh, an absurd one, uh, but really, as a writer, that's inspired by um, a play I read by Christopher Durang called Titanic. It took place aboard the Titanic. And Durang's plays are just way out in the wild. And I thought, uh, as I was reading it, that it was unusual that his play wasn't in any way really about the Titanic. The uh, metaphors, the themes didn't really mirror the Titanic's fate uh, to such an ill-fated vessel. And um, I thought that it would be good to have a play aboard another famously ill-fated vessel wherein the themes, what is discussed, what is portrayed, uh, sort of mirrors the fate of the thing. Jason also gave us his thoughts on Albion's own Dead Pinocchio Theater. Dead Pinocchio was started, I think, the year after I graduated, um, or really close to when my graduation, uh, by uh, a, a grad named Keith Medellis and a, a current student Michael Fenton. Um, they wanted a theater that was outside of the theater department, outside of the auspices of the theater department, um, in which they could have the freedom to produce really whatever they wanted. And they decided to focus on um, new work, experimental work, and specifically Albion work, which I think is a wonderful idea to have that sort of space. Uh, for writers to have um, and see uh, their works performed. It's in Stockwell. It's, it's a largish room, just big enough to house just enough people and just enough actors. If this is highlighted and if this is developed and nurtured, it could put Albion on the map. This is something that I have not seen or heard of at any school in Michigan of this size.